Hey guys, Mirhot here, and welcome to my tutorial video on how to make a combination lock in Minecraft Bedrock. Now in Java, they've had it for a while. This right here is Mumbo's, and surprise, surprise on Bug Rock, it does not work. But even if it did, it's loud. And whenever you hit the right number, you can hear the piston. So you can just sit here, you know, use your ears, hit that item frame until you hear a piston, until you hear a piston, until you hear a piston, and you get your door open. I've tried a few other versions for Java that didn't work, so this is what I come up with that does work. All you gotta do is put the each item in its correct position. This one is one, two, three, and four. And you'll see the redstone signal right there. Go into this locked repeater. Hit your button, it unlocks the repeater, and your door opens. Okay. I'll show you that one more time because I think I already had it reset at that point. Okay. So now we're at one, two, three, four. Redstone signal is there, going to the locked repeater. Hit your button, your door opens, come around, lock it open. At that point, you can go back to the door without it shutting on you. Reset your combination and hit that button to reset your lock. At that point, you can go in, you can lock the door behind you, whatever you need to do. Now, there's a very good reason why we had to add this safety feature in, and I'll show you right here. In bedrock, at least, when an item frame item gets back to the zero position. Did you see the rest of them blink? I'll show you one more time. There you go. Now what that'll do is that would send a pulse to your door and if you have any kind of a big piston door that would start to open it. And that would be a problem. So when you hit the right combination the rest of the signal will get stuck on this repeater right here because it's being powered from the side thereby locking it. All you have to do is hit the button, turns off this redstone torch, turns this line off, unlocks it for just a split second, long enough for the signal to get through, and open your door. So I already have a mock-up made over here. Just may need a three by three square. Item frames in the corner with an item on each. This design is only five wide and a total of four deep, three behind the frames. Make this position, make this uh, shape right here in your, your world. And we'll go over the item list. We're gonna need about a stack or less of the block of your choice. I don't need those because I already have made the mock up. You're gonna need four items to put on your item frames. Now you gotta make sure that the item has a direction. You see? This really doesn't have a direction. So you want something like this. Of course, you're gonna need your four item frames eight comparators, one repeater, about 10 or so redstone dust, five redstone torches. We're gonna to be using barrels to program our code. And then the wooden shovels, however many you need depends on what combination you set. In the description of this video, I will put exactly how many shovels you need for each position on the item frame. And of course you're gonna need about three different colors of colored concrete. I'm gonna start off using green. So once you've built this shape, go ahead and fill it in with three colored concrete here, three on the other side. Take a comparator signal on the back here in subtract mode, the back here in subtract mode. Keep those in standard mode, addition mode and then two dots of redstone dust. Build the same shape one block above. So that'll be coming out of this top item frame. Again, a comparator and subtract, comparator and subtract. Normal, normal, and two pieces of redstone dust. Now at this point, we're gonna go ahead and switch our colored concrete. I'm gonna to go to magenta. 
we're gonna go ahead and put a piece here, here, and here. Put a repeater between the two. Facing into the block, put redstone dust on it. Redstone torch and redstone torch. At this point, you're gonna need to crouch and place one piece of concrete on top of this repeater. And then a piece on top of both torches. You're gonna to wanna to put a torch in the behind here, behind here. Push this out by one. Dust on both and the torch coming out of the back. Finally, three pieces of redstone dust right there. At this point, that is all the redstone done. We just need to put in our barrels behind each of these comparators. You're going to want to crouch place this so that you don't accidentally move these comparators into subtract mode. And now you're ready for programming. Inside this barrel for the number one, I'm going to put one shovel. This barrel for the number two, I'm going to put two shovels. This barrel for the number three, I'm going to put one, two, three, four shovels. And finally for the number four, I'm going to use six. It kind of goes up by two each number. There you go. Now your output source is that torch right there. Once all four of these torches are not lit, this redstone torch will be, and you'll have your output. So one, two, three, four. And as you can see, the torch is lit. Yeah. For the next part of this video, I'm just gonna show you how to wire it up to a simple door. What you're going to need is the block of your choice. You're going to need your button, two buttons. You're going to need two redstone repeaters, six redstone dust, two redstone torches, two sticky pistons, and colored concrete, which I already have in my inventory. So right behind this torch, block right behind it. You're going to put one piece of color concrete. Then you're going to want to step down right here. Then you're going to want to go at least two in the ground. We'll run a redstone. Now I want to go ahead and have this off, so I'm just going to mess up the combination by one. That will turn off the redstone. This is going to run into a repeater into a block. We're just going to make a simple mock door. Press on torch and a block. Two pistons. And I did forget to put in the item description. One lever. Which we're going to put right here. Now we're going to lock the repeater by putting another repeater right here. Redstone dust till about here. That block of your choice. And that's where your button's going to go. Take away that dust and put a torch there. There we go. Okay, so now we go back, put this where it's supposed to be, one, hit your button to unlock that repeater down there, perfect, now lock your door open, change your code, and hit your button. Perfect. So guys, I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit like. You can also subscribe and don't forget, hit that notification bell. Also, if you guys could do me a favor, in the comments section below, give me some ideas. 
What do you want to see me make? I will try my best. See you next time.